easily create a paypal account on your phone if you're in ghana or any other african country which isn't paypal recipient Hey, Sivan here. So before I get into it, I'll be making a video on how you can link your credit card to your PayPal account. So be sure to subscribe for that so that when I eventually release the video, you will be notified. Yeah. So with that being said, let's get straight into how you can create that account on your phone. So first off, just go ahead and open your web browser, then type in paypal.com, just that. Then this is the web page that shows. Then scroll down to the bottom till you see a USA flag. Yeah. So this displays the countries that are PayPal recipients. So go to the Africa section. Then what you're going to do here is that take the closest country to you that is a PayPal recipient country. Yeah. So when you're in Ghana, just go ahead and take Togo. When you're in Ghana, choose Togo. So you see it brings up a new web page. Then go ahead and tap in open the business account. Just that. Go ahead and tap on open the business account. Then this brings you to the next page. So you see it says create a business account so this is pretty much straightforward stuff so go ahead and input your first name your middle name your last name a correct email address because this is what they'll be sending the confirmation link to so be sure to input a correct email address yeah then go ahead and input your password with you know the the steps that are below you know there are some requirements for the password so just go ahead and fill in that so when you're done with that go ahead and tick the agreement box then tap on agree and create account so this will bring you to the next page which says activate your account to start using paypal so scroll down and tap on let's go and you see this sends you to the next page so here you just need some basic information you just need to fill in some basic information so the first one says which best describes you so when you're creating an individual account just tap on individual seller then the next one is like what type of business is this so just go ahead and take individual if you're creating it for yourself then input your date of birth then what's your nationality so this is the tricky part so just go ahead and take the country which you're creating it for so Ghanaians just go ahead and take Ghana and yeah, go ahead and choose Ghana then the next one is asking for what's your phone number so another tricky part go to the code section then set for your country so ghana so just scroll to the top plus two three three yeah so go ahead and choose that then input your phone number then you're done with that section so the next one says what's your residential address so just go ahead and input your address line your city town or village wherever you're from then your state the province region then finally the postal code so if you're in ghana just as a heads up it's two three three yeah so when you're done with all this just tap on next then it sends you to the next page so over here they want to know more about your business so the first one says what's your business called so if you don't have a business name you can just go ahead and use your name so you can see there's even an option that says just use your full legal name for this for now so just go ahead and take that then your your name shows at the business name then for the business registration number not really needed so you can just skip that then the next one which you need to fill says what do you sell what service do you offer so right here just take something that you are use something that you can do you know, something that you're familiar with just go ahead and choose that then when you're done it's asking for a business website so when you don't have that just go ahead choose no it's not really compulsory so the next part also sees the business business address so it's because you are creating this as an individual account it's probably best to take the residential address for this so there's even an option that says use your residential address so go ahead and take that so when you're done tap on next then it sends you to the next page so you can see a pop-up shows up so the pop-up will see complete the customer identification process to avoid people account service interruptions so the option that says place of incorporation just go ahead and tap on that then choose your country so you can see tap on that then ghana if you're in ghana then just tap on ghana then you should tap on submit then it sends you to the paypal page that means you're almost done with the whole process yeah 
So you can see that it says congrats, you are all set. So for now, we are done with the creation of the account. So tap on go to home page to see your account. So you can see the balance is currently zero USD. Then you can see pretty much this is the entire setup of the PayPal page. So you can see that the profile is verified. My profile is verified, but my email is not confirmed. So if you are done creating this, they will send a confirmation link to the email address you inputted. So when you are done, when you are here, go back to your email account, then confirm the, the link that is being sent. So it will look something like this. So just click one of them, then confirm the link. So when you are done, PayPal will show this prompt that says your email address has been confirmed and it will also show on the account yeah so when you're done with that you can see when you scroll down to the bottom there's a certain red flag at the notification center so no need to panic it's nothing really serious so just go ahead and tap on see details and it sends you to the next page so the next page says we need some more info from you so that is all they just need to verify whether this account is really for you so you can see when you scroll down to the bottom it says upload a photo id so just tap on resolve then scroll down and tap on document type so you can see there's driver's license passport national identification card no they just need one of this document type to verify your account from there so just if i'm gonna you can use your Ghana card which is for the national identity card section so you just tap on that then you can see you can just take a picture phone which is jpeg or any of the image formats they have over there and when you do this this is going to take some couple of days for them to verify this information to see whether it's true or not yeah so when you're done with that you're pretty much done with the setup for your paypal account so all that you have left to do is to link your account to a credit card yeah so as i said previously be sure to subscribe because i'll be making a video on how you can link your credit card to the paypal account so be sure to subscribe for that so that when i eventually release the video you wouldn't miss out yeah so thanks for watching again be sure to like subscribe share you know do all the good stuff and i'll see you in the next one so stay safe adios peace i'm out